What is up everybody and welcome back to Gage One Up and today we are doing something really fun that I saw a while back. We are going to try and make bread without a recipe. <laughs> this video is pretty simple. I saw the Try Guys do it a while back and you know there's like nothing to go off right now so I thought what? Screw it. Let's just do something fun so now we're going to make bread without a recipe. <laughs> I don't need and no recipe. Gage does, okay. definitely. You so, really need the recipe. I, I really do need a recipe because I have never baked anything at this level before. <laughs> but you know, it's bread. It's easy. There's like no way to screw it up. There's there's no way. You know how stupid you sound right now? Speaking? No, 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 no. I got this. So, I have not made bread before. Luke has made bread before. Uh, how come you're saying it's easy? I've made bread before. It is one of the hardest things I've no, ever made. No, shut up. Quit. I'm trying to be confident. I think I'm going to win because I have made some pretty complicated things before. Yes, there was instructions, but I can make a pretty mean DiGiorno <laughs> pizza. Uh, <laughs> so that's why I think I'm going to win. Bread, it's just easy. It's so easy. There's like, there's like no way you can mess it up. Oh gosh, I could go on for on and on and on on why I think I'm gonna win. First of all, all Gage knows how to cook is overcooked mac and cheese and pretty bad scrambled eggs. Um, also, he likes to turn up pizzas. Usually I'm the one who cooks them and he just reads the instructions and goes, hey Luke, you can cook it. And also, I have made bread before. So I know all the key ingredients. Gage is probably just gonna like throw in like, who knows how much yeast and flour and bread and water and all this dumb crap like guys can i just take the w already i am going to try and make a cinnamon twist bread it's going to be absolutely <laughs> delicious compared to Lou's. <laughs> yes it will i'm so gonna try to make a rainbow chocolate chip bread my dream bread when i was little because i love colors and chocolate chips what? Are you supposed to do that at the start? Why are you questioning me? I'm gonna do two tablespoons of yeast. I'm just gonna kind of like follow you. Just a little bit. Just gonna. Now I need a little bit of, a little bit of sugar. Okay, she's like hovering over him. Maybe no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Does it take a long time to activate? Oh, that smells like dog hard. <laughs> <laughs> that smells so bad. First, you're going to need one cup of flour. <laughs> Don't just laugh at me the whole time, okay? Focus on your bread. I'm gonna. Why focus is on bread that. without a recipe? Why are you using measuring cups? Cuts you need to be precise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like the rule of thumb for baking. One, <laughs> wash your hands always. Two. <laughs> Don't start a fire. Three, separate your dry ingredients from your uh, wet ingredients, which is like water, oil. Dry ingredients are like flour, That's, sugar, and It's not and salt. like that in every recipe. It depends on the recipe, you know? Shut up, I'm sounding professional. I have one cup of flour here. Since I'm doing a sweet bread instead of a savory bread, I'm going to do one fourth cup of sugar. Oh, by the way, forgot to mention, we are going to have the rest of our family judge our cooking expertise by uh, judging on how our baking is. I'm already getting dough going, bud. We are going to be judging off of taste, presentation, and is it bread. We're going off of the Try Guys video that we're doing, and we are not professional cooks. We do not know how to make bread. Well, well, he does. <laughs> we don't know how to make it professionally, so we're just going you to try our best. To don't know how to Quiet. <laughs> now, one third of a cup of water. No, I'm not, because you're supposed to separate your dry ingredients from your wet ingredients. <laughs> so now I'm going to add my sugar. Mix this together. Did you wash your hands, Luke? Yes. Okay, good. Now I'm going to add a, just a little, Hot sugar. Oh, cinnamon. So I do I, know a I couple added things. Way too much sugar. I, I do know, know a couple things about making bread. You're not supposed to add a lot of yeast because yeast is basically just bacteria. So when you rise bread, that is the yeast feeding 
on the part on some of the particles in your bread and it is literally farting that's what's making it pop up and stuff and then when you cook it what makes it pop up even more that is the yeast dying it's literally just bacteria it's the yeast dying and letting out all of its gases <laughs> now i'm going to add one whole teaspoon of yeast now i'm going to add my water Two thirds of a cup of water. Oh my gosh, I would have to add way more flour. <laughs> oh my gosh, my hands. I'm gonna need more. That is not enough. You put yeast straight in your flour. Do you see what I'm doing? What? what You're supposed doing? to let your yeast rise. What? Gross. Don't tell me how to make bread. Okay. I can make bread just. Now fine. you gotta go wash my hands. Holy oh. crap, you took up almost all of us. I'm gonna add. Way more of this. Yeah, more. Two cups of flour, uh, one cup of sugar. We're just gonna wing it. We're never precise here. We're not precise at all. Salt? Just a little bit. Water. You don't want a lot of salt. That looks like fun. Why does this look like wet oatmeal? I'm gonna do two eggs. Why do you have so much more butter than me? Or not butter, that's bad. Why do you have so much more batter than me? A lot more flour. Just you added so much. My hands are so messy already. It's not supposed to stick to your hands, is it? Yeah. I need to mix up my yeast. That is a lot of water. <laughs> now I'm going to add a smidgen of milk. Just a little bit. I'm that was more than a little flour. bit. I need more flour. We'll get more flour. Now I'm going to add one single <laughs> egg. Ah! Uh oh, that's not good. Um. Mixing in a single egg. One single egg. Okay, now that I have more flour, it's starting to turn. I think I added my wet ingredients too early. Dude, yours is so much better than mine. Smell it, it smells like a piece of dough. Is that what flour is supposed to look like? Once I figure out how to get this batter off my hands. Why do I keep calling batter? Is that the right word for it? Dough. Dough, that's the word I was looking for. Once I get this dough off my hands, then I'm going to melt some butter down and put it in here, because that makes Butter makes everything taste better. You can green screen anything you want right here. Okay. Huh. Just getting something out of the fridge or whatever's going on here. Okay. We're in Hawaii. That's our window. It's the outside on the beach. Should I just leave it? <laughs> sure. We'll leave the Bahamas right there. Okay. Oh, it's so beautiful! Beautiful Bahamas! <laughs> oh. It's getting hot in here. We don't want to get it too hot so that it bakes our bread. Oh look, now we're in the White House. We're outside the White House and we're baking bread. Now, chocolate chips, okay? There we go, it's like just the amount of chocolate chips I want. That beautiful bread. Look at this beauty, you guys. Looks like a big batch of cookie dough. I'll cover my surface here and then knead my bread. I'm gonna make my bread blue. You're gonna make all of it blue? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna do a rainbow. I thought I was gonna do a rainbow too, but I decided not to. This is Cookie Monster bread. Look, Luke, we're in a submarine. We're under the ocean. Look. What the heck? There's a shark. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's a shark. <laughs> oh look, now there's. Octopus. Should I add the food color? No, there's the Kraken! Like <laughs> it's like too stiff. stiff. Butter. Oh, I need more like liquid, I guess, or butter. Okay, I think I'm ready. Hold on, wait, what? You're ready all to do your thing already? I'm not baking it, because you have to let it rise. I'm not done yet. I still need to add my cinnamon twist part. Ooh, dude, that is like almost perfect. All right, I'm gonna go swimming, bye. You're gonna go swimming? All right, guys, guess it's just you. No, I'm talking about the screen screen as a swimming pool. Oh. I'm gonna put this towel over it and 
let it sit over here for like two to three hours. Let it rise. Then we bake. Now I'm going to make the cinnamon sugar part. With this, you just want to put flour in. You just want to dust it. Okay guys, it's been a couple hours, it's been like two hours, but we waited for the dough to rise. Let's now it's it. time to reveal our dough. In three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, look at mine! Here's rose a ton! Dude, mine did so good, look at that. It looks so oh good. Gosh, okay, wow, okay, I'm not gonna touch mine. I mean, I gotta put mine in there. I'm going to preheat my oven to 425 degrees. Okay, we'll be back when it's done preheating. Got it. Okay guys, I'm doing a quick update on the bread. Look, mine looks like it is done. I think I may have burned the egg wash on it a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna be a big problem because Luke's in his office back around there playing a game and his bread is still in. It looks like about perfect right now, but I'm not gonna touch it because that's part of the challenge and it is his job to keep an eye on his bread. And since he's in the middle of a game, I'm not gonna touch it. And if it burns, that's his fault. You guys, before we go into the voting section of the video, vote up in the poll right now. Who do you think is better? Do you think it's mine or do you think it's Luke's? All right, guys, our breads are done cooking. First of all, before we present our breads, we have to take them out of their baking pans yeah. and put them onto a present, presentable sheet. Let's see if I greased up my pan enough. Oh yeah! Look at that beauty! <laughs> oh my gosh! Woo. Ooh, okay, got Check some. out this beauty! I may, I may have done a little bit. I may have done a little bit too much flour. Mine smells so good. Mine is called Marbled Cookie Monster Bread. This is Marble mine. Cookie Monster Bread. This is mine. Mine is Cinnamon Twist Bread. See what I'm doing? It's spinning, twisting cinnamon. Now we're going to get the rest of our family in here and they are going to judge one at a time. Let's go grab someone to come judge our bread. Okay, we have our mom here. Yo, yo. We have, she's going to judge our bread. First category, before we start cutting it and serving it up. Okay. We're going to do presentation. If these were on the shelves at the store, <laughs> which one would you go for first? Which one would you grab? Be honest. Be honest. It's okay. Our feelings won't be hurt. Luke's. Yes! Because it has chocolate on it. Yes! Let's cut these things. Right. I'm going to cut mine and present it to the camera. Maybe this is the best thing I've ever had, though, ever. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe, maybe. <gasps> Look at that blue marbling. You're Had better. some trouble cutting through mine. I did watch Are you ready one. for okay. the cinnamon twist? <gasps> yes! Look oh at that! Oh my gosh, Gage, that's beautiful. I have did cinnamon you see twist that? bread. Yeah. Okay, Gage. Wow. Cinnamon twist bread. Slow clap for Gage. Cinnamon twist bread. Which would you take a bite out of? First? Yes. This one. You would? Nice. Yes. yes. Cinnamon bread for sure. All right. I okay. love cinnamon bread. Delicious. Another question. Oh. Is it bread? Is yes. It, is both it bread? Of them are bread. Both okay. of them, you consider both of them bread good. Now, taste it. Go ahead and take a bite. Take a bite. I'm excited. I haven't tried it either. Is it pretty good? Yeah, it tastes like bread with cinnamon in it. Can I try it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, take, go ahead and take okay. a bite. It's good. I like mine with like lots of butter on it. Butter on it? Maybe like Nutella or something? A little stick. Chewy. Very stick and chewy. Okay. Mmm. Alright. Mine is very uneven. 
Okay, that front. Um, Man. I'm gonna try this one too. I'm not as good as I wanted it to be. Okay, Loops was really good. That was the most hugest bite. <laughs> <laughs> Which one tasted better? I'm choking. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if Luke's. it was Loops. Yeah. 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 With the chocolate and the marbling. All right, next up, our dad. All right, now we have our dad here. <laughs> uh, what is going on okay. here? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, this is. It's gonna be super good. Mine is the cinnamon twist bread. Mine, mine is marbled cookie monster bread. Okay, marbled so. Cookie monster bread. If you saw these on the shelf of the store, which one would you grab first? Which one would you? Try if I had to. Yes, just like the, the loaves and and everything in general. Mm -hmm. Just off of look alone. Uh -huh. Look alone. Look I alone. would say that this one doesn't look burned. <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> now, take a bite. Of which one? Both. Either. Which one first? You can take which one first. <laughs> it needs butter. I yeah, know. I, like, I, I was so confident that it was gonna be like a white bread. It's gonna be like white bread. It's something that you like. It's binge not bad or though. Something. Yeah. It's a, I should have added more sugar. And he didn't add sugar. salt either to that one. Mm -hmm. Salt mm -hmm. brings out a lot of flavor too. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. You see me? You're killing me here. Mm. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised. Mine isn't very good without butter. The chocolate chips are gonna drown out anything wrong going on here. Exactly, though, so. that's right. <laughs> but I'd say if we're not following any kind of recipe, you guys both did like really, really good. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. that was a good job. All right. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for coming on. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Now that Dad's done, it's time for Kyle. Kyle's on. He's going to try our bread now. If these were on the shelves of the store. Which one would you buy first? Which one would you grab? This one. Yeah, yeah. yeah not, not a surprise, not but a surprise. No, just because it's blue. Like, okay. Just because it's blue. It's his favorite okay. color. Which one would you take a bite of first? Bite of first? This one. That one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and taste it. I just gotta get to the inside because that's where the good flavor is, right? Yeah, okay. Go ahead and take a bite. Like, mm, butter. <laughs> needs butter. It needs butter. Yeah, uh, it's kind of the feedback I've been getting so far. Now mine. Ooh, this. And I have good. butter, so yes, you do. I'm really trying to convince myself it's like the best bread I've oh, ever had. Oh, so good. Yes! Dang it! Let's go. Okay, we have a clear winner here, Luke. He's won almost every category. Hey, at least you can make a mean DiGiorno pizza. That's true. I can make a pretty mean DiGiorno pizza. Clear winner here is Luke. If you guys voted Luke up in the poll, then you were right. Anyways, that is the end of this video. Click anywhere on the screen to subscribe or to watch more. And again, click up in the icon. Which one would you taste first? Would you taste my bread or Luke's bread? Tell us up in the poll right up there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. That was super yeah. fun.